Former House Majority Leader Tom DeLay is going to get incredibly creepy here. He's going to tell us how much God should be involved in government. There isn't a more American ideal yeah. than to impact society, do good for others, and do it in the name of God. Yeah. Where did we get off of that track? I think we got off the track when we allowed our government to become a secular government. Uh, when we stop realizing that God created this nation, that He wrote the Constitution, that it's based on biblical principles, and, and, um, and, and we allowed those that don't believe in those things to, to keep pushing us, pushing us, and pushing us away from, from uh, the government. And instead of standing up and, and being unashamedly uh, uh, a follower of Jesus Christ, and, and fighting for our values in, in our society. I, I spent my entire career as a leader in, in the House of Representatives sort of focused on Second Chronicles 714. If my people who are called by my name uh, uh, humble themselves, pray, seek my face, and turn from their wicked ways, I will hear from heaven, forgive them of their sins, and heal their land. Uh, and I've taught it to my members. I uh, led it in Bible studies and trying to lead members of the house to Bible studies, focused on that. I even sealed off the rotunda of the Capitol, thinking that of all people, the leaders of the nation need, need to take Second Chronicles 7:14, And we sealed off the Capitol so that for three hours, leaders from the House and the Senate got on our knees, seeking the face of God and praying. That's actually really scary. Like, everything he said there is just chilling. Here we have a group of people who are supposed to lead the nation, and they shut everything down to get on their knees and pray. That's less productive than getting on their knees and sucking people's dicks. At least in that case, there'd be some actual substantive happiness being spread around. But no, they get they just pray. It's like getting on your knees in the dark and just hoping something were so, wishing on a shining star. That's a childish thing to do. You are the leaders of the nation. If something happens, if something goes wrong, if you need a policy to be passed, you have to work for it. You have to use your head and use your hands and take action. You can't just pray. I mean, could you imagine like having, if we actually had a government full of actual theocrats that are really... Uh, fundamentalists. When 9-11 happened, for example, imagine that was their response. All right, guys, really bad thing happened. Let's all shut off the lights, turn off the TVs, get on our knees and pray for five hours. Oh, great. And nothing will get done. It's a scary thing, man. That's, the, that's not that you, that's the last kind of person you would actually want to lead something because the leader is supposed to be a man of action. They're supposed to use their hands and use their head and figure things out. But this is the opposite of that. I'm too scared, I gotta put it in the hands of a higher being that doesn't exist, so please help. And uh, the irony of Tom DeLay, who is notorious for being one of the most corrupt members of Congress, talking about God and Jesus and all these things, S save it, man. Just put a cork in it. You're not convincing anybody. This guy, I think he took a million dollar bribe from a Russian company and then gave a huge government contract to the Russians. Oh yeah, that just like Jesus would do. He loves bribes. Now, uh, I mean, what else is there to say about this? I, I jotted down some of his quotes. Oh, everything went bad when we allowed our government to be a secular government. Actually, we've always been a secular government. How many times does the Constitution reference God? Zero. Jesus? Zero. The Bible? Zero. The only time it mentions religion is to say, you shall not establish one. So it's the opposite. of The nation is secular. They actually think like, you know, God wrote the Constitution, but he literally said that! Like, it sounds like I'm joking and I'm making a caricature using hyperbole. No, he said, God created this nation, he, cr he wrote the Constitution. No, he didn't!